Uh, so, hey, God boys. Uh, as you know, we're looking at well, we're looking at uh, Chicago and we're relating it to uh, section four of the Discovery rubric. Um, we'll be looking at section three. Um, now, I don't want to read it in waste time, um, but basically, we've divided it into three main parts uh, that we're going to be exploring individually for SMP, uh, and we'll talk uh, more in depth about keywords here and relating to um, the text of the motorcycle diary. Uh, explain ways that you can. Um, perhaps write about it in your um, responses. Okay, so um, here it says the potential to affirm or challenge individuals or more widely assumptions and beliefs about aspects of human experience in the world. Uh, this, is, uh, this basically says uh, how one's experience from new discoveries through different means, that is, for example, spontaneous uh, or by coincidence or chance. So the presumed ideas are far from social constructs. And the individual makes decisions and to form new perceptions, subsequently impacting the society. Here you can see, as Che Guevara travels throughout the countryside of Latin America, he encounters a copper mine. The Chile Exploration Company is, a, is building another plant to exploit the sulfate ore. Here, Che Guevara is facing the exploitation and industrialization of capitalist America, as those in power uh, abuse the Chilean peoples and treat them as expendable people thus challenging his moral values and beliefs. This led to an economic and political battle <coughs> being waged in Chile between a coalition of nationalists and left-wing grouping that advocate nationalizing minds, demonstrating an ironical contra contrast of oppressive political parties within the copper mines, thus leading him to form his revolution, which, which is widely noted. Additionally, adding on to Neil, um, <coughs> These ideologies of change within uh, Ernesto Che Guevara's text, Motorcycle Diaries, is shown through the quote, It never erred from the basic principle laid out in that moment, <coughs> improvisation. We sealed our pact to never give up until we realized our dreams. This creates a sense of participation to the audience as they are invited to explore and witness the transformation of Che Guevara, forged by his own individual experiences and revelations that have sought to challenge the societal conventions and politics as he ventures to affirm his own beliefs that shout towards the injustices and inequities of the system. This change is evident within Che Guevara, as seen through when he visits <coughs> the old woman suffering from chronic asthma and La Giacondia, when a doctor is conscious of his own powerlessness that he longs for a change, a change to prevent the injustices of the system, where he uses an imperative voice in order to confront the political powers of government, having realized his own dreams. This is further exemplified through the dialect of Che Guevara. We will see whether one day a minor will take up his pick and poison his lungs with a conscious joy. I don't know. Where he uses sarcasm to indicate his position within politics, placing emphasis on the lives of the poor, the unsung heroes of this battle, which act to affirm his own beliefs and challenge those in power. Students may make discoveries about people, relationships, societies, places, and events and generate new ideas. We as an audience not, should not only recognize the revelations highlighted within texts, but also formulate our own opinions so that we are able to make a we are able to generate a deeper understanding on the process and mechanisms of discovery. This is significantly highlighted within Che Guevara's memoir The Motorcycle Diaries. Che's, Che's exploration uh, on other people are displayed on his observations on the courageous Alberto Granado upon uh, on Alberto Granado. Alberto saw the danger and measuring it with one quick look leapt agilely over the 20 centimeters of flame, saving the little endangered life for its owners. His eyes shone with pleasure from, the, from beneath the huge helmet he had borrowed. The descriptive imagery employed by Che may highlight his own observation on his companion's bravery and mental realization, and also highlights his close relationship shared between each other. Similarly, explorations of society and explorations of society is expressed within Che's discipline towards the appalling political and economic circumstances within aspects of Latin America. Ultimately, ultimately calling him to self-reflect on his own, uh, on his own place within his in society. It is at times like this when a doctor is conscious of his complete powerlessness that he longs for change. 
The emotive and powerful tone hi highlights Shay's intellectual and emotional revelation on the poor health and social conditions existing within parts of Chile, ultimately sparking his political consciousness. Finally, encounters of, encounters of events and places are highlighted within Shay's cultural and historical background. Uh, social, um, historical and cultural exploration. Yeah. Travelling 50 or 60 kilometres a day without discovering a drop of water or even some shrub to shelter from the hottest hours leaves a strong impression. Shay's personal comment expresses his awe, uh, his awe upon uncovering the cultural and historical influences that reside within Congo Valdivia's travels throughout Chile and ultimately how his virtues of motivation and dedication are able to transcend into Shay's personal journey throughout South America. So here, the last point of the section 3. Students consider the ways composers may invite them to experience discovery, uh, how the perceptions process of discovery is represented using a variety of language modes, forms, and features. So this is basically how the author communicates the reader through language techniques and how he experiences those uh, throughout his journey uh, using techniques such as vivid imagery, metaphors, comparative voices, and juxtapositions. Here, in nine months of the man's life, he can think of a lot of things, from the loftiest meditations of, of, of philosophy to the most desperate longing for a balance Showing the meditative language as he reflects on his journey, Eventually changing the man he used to be. Uh, the full moon silhouetted against the sea, smothering the waves with silver reflection. His uh, effective imagery, as seen in this quote, highlights the sensuous nature of Roberto's experiences as he encounters as he encounters with the sea, showing its beauty, making the reader imagine the beauty of the ocean. Yeah. So. Um just a bit of talk about how we're going to sort of link this into um, what's happening to the rubric. Um, now the first point, straight from the rubric, uh, incorporate and sympathize with Shea Guevara's experiences. Uh, basically what we're dealing with here is um, uh, us as, as the audience um, is trying to, uh, we need to um, get an understanding of what Shea is going through and how that's portrayed in his text uh, in a way. Um, given the fact that you know, uh, it's a, an epistolary uh, novel, it's a diary, we're basically following along with Chef, Chef and we're learning um, what he sees through his own eyes and through his own frame. Uh, now in terms of um, an emotional discovery, um, we learn more about uh, who the character he is as, as, as an individual, uh, and, but also uh, we are experiencing that emotion and we um, thus um, explore um, that emotion alongside him. Uh, this is particularly exemplified uh, through the scene where, or well, the part where um, Cher receives a letter from his girlfriend. Uh, I read and reread the, the Incredible Era, and just like that, all my dreams of home bound up with those, uh, with those eyes that saw me off in Roma came, came crashing down for what seemed like no reason. Um, another thing here is that Another thing here is that um, he never really uh, explicitly refers to what's happening in the letter. Um, he's sort of um, brushing against that, and in that way, that kind of alludes to um, perhaps the fear that he had of the reality of you know, the, the situation being that he's lost something, or he lost, he's lost a relationship that he could never really fix or obtain given the fact that he was physically away. Uh, yeah, it, uh, We'll just wrap it up. Uh, additionally, in terms of uh, cultural and historical intrigue, we learn more about um, S South America and Chile um, through his, his own discoveries, and in a sense, thus as the audience, we're discovering alongside with him, uh, which is framed through his perception. Uh, so he discusses uh, his work with volunteer uh, firefighters in Chile, um, observing that uh, they managed the tight spot as skillfully as possible and were very friendly. As friendly as people could be from worlds as different as their own. Uh, as theirs and ours have played that particular moment in our lives. Um, no, this, this, again, this is a personal perception to Chair. Um, we are only seeing what we see through uh, Chair's experiences and thus we make a judgment on the people of uh, volunteers and the sort of culture around in Chile that you know, uh, there's people that are friendly and willing to work for a greater good of society. Uh, 
Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, thank you.